What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was uh, sort of a random elite matchup. We actually categorized it as uh, as against this French clan. Uh, and actually, we're kind of glad, I guess, I think in the end, they, they did put up a, a pretty good score, actually. You know, they did have a few extra town hall 11s, as we're going to check out in a minute, uh, but ended up being a really good war. So uh, good to kind of jump back in just with a war. There's a lot of nice attacks I want to show you here. Uh, but first, I just want to mention, you know, obviously, I haven't done a, a video in a couple weeks. So, you know, I was in Florida for 10 days um, and just getting caught back back up at work and everything like that. Uh, plus, we did a, a clan challenge, a family clan challenge on the weekend um, that me and Dr. D were actually going to both kind of split up and do a full, huge recap. But the replays get erased a lot quicker than a normal war, I guess. So we ended up losing all the replays and not being able to do it. So that's kind of what, what the delay's been. But uh, in that time, the update has dropped. Now, yeah, the game has changed substantially over the last uh, couple of weeks now. Kind of really interesting seeing this, uh, the, the new meta sort of evolve. Um Katic, I, I want to say Katic and I will be getting together doing a full discussion breakdown of what, what our feelings are and how, how it's affected base building certain at all the different town hall levels um, and, and just go into the full detailed discussion we usually do. So we'll get into that in another video, but I just did, did want to mention a lot of these attacks are now post update. So uh, it's good to see some of these. Let's go jump in and check out what happened. 7471 was the victory for 2.0. Uh, so this clan was asked for, so like I said, you know, they gave it their all 60 to 60 attack 74 71 very respectable um yeah, again i can't read french but uh i gotta say you know these guys these guys gave it their all definitely deserve some props a so shout out to ask force uh very good war gentlemen uh but we as you can see as well didn't have uh, the best of wars like i said they were down in number nine there on their town hall um 11th so you know box paces like this all the way down to number nine when we only have six down 11s that's going to soak up a lot of our town hall 11 attacks and that's kind of just ended up what happening uh at the same time Nines did do their diligence and cleared all the way down, gave the tens all the shots we could. There are a couple ten versus ten triples, but we're gonna start start down at the bottom here. Uh, number twenty nine, Ryan going in. Good old open alleyway base. Um, Ryan just brings a stone goho with, with bowlers, right? A stone goho go, and just gets big value on the golems a uh, very boxy style base is going to get the golems rate all the meetups sort of in this core and get just tanking from all directions really just leaving the queen chamber to uh, to be taken care of after the kill squad does their job here so king queen bowlers are in one golem just walk over to that uh, mortar but still does some pretty good tanking i guess a few point defense got the expo on them this whole time so these golems are free to walk in untouched so everything now turns to them king's going to move on in and help out though queen is in there behind bowlers in there now. <clears> oh <throat> comes a clan castle and down with the poisons. Heal spell to help out that king. It's gonna have to hit that king ability here in one second. Any second. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, so Queen Queen and the Bowler sort of do a mop-up work behind this King, still doing tanky, still has a Golem in there, still, you know, with 50% health. It starts sort of sprinkling in these hogs now from 3 o'clock. Taking care of these point defense that got missed on the entry. Both sides down again at 6 o'clock as well. Doesn't quite work through that Tesla. So it goes ahead and sends good chunk of his hogs now. There's a two Teslas and a Wizard Tower here that they're going to rip through very, very quickly. Doesn't need heals for them whatsoever. <clears throat> and hogs are just doing their work now. That was one major change. Um, isn't necessarily to hogs themselves, but uh, the double, uh, giant bombs no longer do extra damage against them. So, literally, if you have a heal spell down, they can run right over a DGB, a perfectly placed DGB, and survive. So that is that is a huge thing people are talking about at the town online level. That does have a big effect on it, obviously. Um, I'm not going to deny that whatsoever. I mean, there are definitely going to be some hog raids now that you'll see that normally would not uh, have worked uh, work. So uh, with that being said, there are, uh, are some base changing uh, base changes we're going to see uh, to sort of the, the new meta. I think people are going to go absolutely hog crazy and make these sort of um, single bomb, like four single anti-hog base. 
Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see how that pans out, Canada can have a little more uh, in-depth discussion on that matter for sure. Tree in the bag for Ryan. Nice job, buddy. All right, 25. Patino. Good old Pitt. Bring in a guess what? Blue Veeler in the house. Wonder where he learned this stack from. Uh, what I really liked about this is Pitt recognizes this little air defense right here. Now, I quite often as well will choose to Veeler a base if they have a very exposed air defense to a walk like that because you can walk her and take out that air defense and she's going to be free to sort of walk around now. Um, the, the idea though is the healers are not going to get targeted by anything once this air defense goes down. She ends up getting a few Teslas on the way. She's going to walk up to the 12 o'clock section and he's dropped the bowlers on the other side to create the funnel, lets the Valkyries in, the King in, Queen is going to join up well, as well in a second. Look how quickly the Valk shred through that Lego wall. So everything just got funneled right towards this clan castle, right? It's going to have to get the poison down, the heal down. Everything's in there. Rage is down, blasting everything through that stuff. Clan castle is dead. Just got to work towards that queen now. Heal spell over the core, keeping all those Valkyries alive. Even the healers get in on the action. They're still raged up too. So those Valkyries are just going to keep going. Nothing to stop them. Keep in mind, like he's probably got, he sent in 11, I believe. He's got to have at least eight or nine left working through this section of the base at full health. So they're going to get absolutely large value. Unfortunately, they do kind of funnel in between these air defense. So all the healers get taken out, but it's too late. Like this base is absolutely done for. There's really a couple wizard towers to go. You know, these bowlers have walked around this outside of the base now. Only two, maybe three of them left there. Um, just kind of doing funnel work and cleanup work, taking care of a couple defenses along the way. Just needs to really uh, let the rest of this stack play out. <clears throat> and it's GG for this base. Bam. Nice job, Pitt. I know this attack is dedicated to me. I know it. <clears throat> so, moving up. We're going to number 23. Limey going in. So, Lime's bringing the air attack. I love this guy. Lime is just... We just go back and forth at the friendly challenges all night long. It's just awesome. Uh, this guy has a very, very uh, diverse skill set. We'll just say he can. Uh, he, he just picks the base and picks the best attack for the base, and he can execute it just like a champ. So he goes in, goes decides to go with the uh, bolt lalo here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and jump in between the air defenses. See how he just recognizes this? Just the old school way, right? He's going to, because he's going to get this huge push with the bowlers under the rage there, he's going to be able to take out the clan castle, defensive queen, two air defenses, huge, huge portion, right? Uses uh, another rage, I think that was, and a heal. Just burns every single spell on that kill squad and those bowlers. And <laughs> gets a third air defense out of the deal. It's going to get another expo, I believe. Look at this air defense with a sliver of health. He almost get all four air defense with um, with the kill squad there. So finally he's like, okay, I guess I'll send in these two lava hounds. They go in, they're gonna kill this air defense all on their own, right? He sends in the balloons down. This Tesla farm gives them a little bit of panic, I think. He, he must be like, come on, there's no way. Um, I, I might have, I don't know, you, you needed a haste spell there. I'm not sure, Limey, if you knew that those Teslas were there or not. But without a haste spell, you kind of had to know that was going to happen. It doesn't really matter, though, because <laughs> finally everything works on over, takes care of the expo. There's just far too many balloons for those Teslas to handle. You've got cleanup all over the base. Queen at the full health, and it hits the ability just now. Bam, bam, bam. Very sexy, my friends. Tree in the bag for line. Okie doke. Moving on up here. Number 15. Oop, sorry. I don't want to show this one. Let's show there. 23. My bad. I'm going the other way. I wrote the numbers opposite on my sheet. I fooled myself. I haven't showed days in a while. Bring in another um, uh, hog attack here. This one, just a simple shattered go, go hobo, right? Uh, just brings the two golems. 
He's going to uh, basically just take his time, clear out the nice, large, large funnel, make sure his bowlers don't go walking, open up that wall nice and wide. He's going to let those golems on in. He's going to get a jump spell in over to this queen chamber. Going to get big value, very compact base here. So the, the, the golems get pretty good value on a lot of defenses at the same time. A little bit late on that poison, but no big deal. It's down now over top of all those air units. Queen's in there under rage too, just picking things off one by one. Bowlers are smashing through the core. Has 32% tank care, so he's gonna go ahead and start the start the hog rotation. Um, very compact base. These compartments, there is zero chance whatsoever of there being any sort of deadly traps. So because of the whiz tower, obviously because of all the skeletons, he's got a heal there, but they're gonna work through that huge pack of hogs. He's gonna work through this section un scathed at all uh so he goes ahead and sends in a bunch more um still has nine in the bag though at this point i think he brought 25 hogs was only a shattered right with bowlers so finally that uh last heal spell goes down uh his kill squad is all dead but too many hogs like they are all alive he's i'm pretty sure there's 25 hogs maybe he did lose a couple of the spring traps but look at this pack of hogs that is alive they're gonna spread out here in one moment just has so many of them very, very nice stack, days. Boom. Couple for cleanup. Wizards all over. Just smashed it. Um, number 20. Tritosh. And he brings another air attack here. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is... I want to show this base. First of all, because this guy was a tunnel 10, quote unquote, must have just went up to tunnel and he's got those new walls. Um, I just thought it was interesting. He had these walls, has purple walls. I don't know. I just don't understand some people's um, expense of, of resources, I guess. It just baffles me sometimes. But anyhow, <laughs> this is like a bat wing base almost. That's what I saw when I saw this. I'm like, I just didn't understand what the guy was thinking exactly. Tosh picks this apart. Same idea. It's just going to get really nice. Look at the huge funnel he gets on the outside here. Clan Castle's all stand, all under poison there. They're going to go down very, very quickly. All those balloons are going to fall all at once. Down they go. Bam, bam, bam. So he's going to go ahead and walk in, get that air defense on the way, jump into this core. He has access to the queen because this section is not connected for some reason. Uh, raid spell goes down, letting everything go in here now. Goes ahead and hits that king ability while he's on that queen. Gonna smash through this core. Already now has two air defenses. The defensive queen, about to have two air defenses. About to have two air defenses. There it is. <laughs> and uh, the clan castle, 49% of this base. Go ahead and send in the hounds. Uh, a couple balloons on all the defenses on the outside. That first hound takes two mines to the face, pop perfect timing for that second hound to arrive. Everything's gonna just kind of converge in on this air defense here. <clears throat> Once takes care of this one, everything only has one place to go. And in fact, I think the queen ends up managing to take care of this air defense before the hound does, or before the loons do. <clears throat> it's tree in the bag for Tosh. Just absolutely killed it, buddy. Bam. Connect your core, man. Out of one wall. Why would you want that open? I just, that's what I don't understand. When you built this base, I want to know. Why would you prefer to have that open and not closed? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> Let's move on. To Town Hall 10s. Uh, only got a couple here to show you, but they are beauties. Number 16, we got Ice going in. 18 Valks just brings it old school. I think he goes in from 12. What? Yep, yeah, there it is. So the Queen. Queen here actually has a little bit of a scary moment. I mean, you open that wall right away. Sure, she goes to get the army camp, but like at this point, Ice must have been like, come on. Are you serious? That barracks is mighty close. She stands there for a while, does end up taking care of this balloon. Um <laughs> Yeah, at this point in the raid, Ice must be like, oh man, are you kidding me? Like this is not gonna this is not gonna happen but he ends up just being resilient here drops that second poison absolutely perfectly queen locks onto the baby drag walks on over to the wizard sort of like weird path to look how close that was dude the wizard shot got off on the ears <laughs> ice is like shedding his pants at this point he's like all right the queen's in clan castle's out let's get these valks in goes ahead and drops him in from the one o'clock 
peeing in to back things up. It has so many valves that's just going to walk into these very, very large compartments. Nice little jump at that juncture there. Going to kind of let the Valkyries in on down through all this jazz. Queen's now really, um, really done a good job hollowing out this side of the base. She's about to step in a range here now of this Inferno Tower, I believe. Um, and still has a rage with all these Valks. So here goes that next rage. Um, the idea there was because it's over the it's over the queen. You knew the Valks were going to get sucked on the queen. One shot that lava wall there. Open things up. Take care of that Inferno Tower before the queen arrives. That's right. And just absolutely decimates that core. They start to pitter out a little bit. But what's this from the, the 3 o'clock? We got a CC of miners that is now kind of working on the outside through this stuff. <laughs> miners still are very, very useful because they're they are super versatile, right? I mean, you just have to treat them a little more hog-like and they're very fragile units, I think, now. Um, so in this instance, I think Ice makes a really good example of how they are still very, very viable. Really like this Max Miner out of the out of the CC at uh, 3 o'clock to kind of work. The idea here was to work the outside while the Valks kind of work the inside with the King. Queen takes out this section. They all meet up here. GG. Tree in the bag for Ice. a very sexy hit buddy and one more shawnee boy showing us how it's done with 19 hogs at town hall 10 versus 10 we got level three inferno towers we got pretty much a very mid level town midweight town hall 10 uh, you know, very decent base with these sort of wizard tower he's mixing in the bomb towers uh, course so those are very anti-miner because you're going to get miners in there going through these bombs, right? They're just going to get exploded if they get that core. Same thing with bowlers. We jump bowlers in. I mean, he does bring 10 bowlers here, but they, there's more to take out um, a different sort of section of the base. He doesn't really necessarily care if they hop into, into this section because um, you're going to see these hogs just hollow, or sorry, not hollow this base out. He uses these hogs to basically run around uh, in a ring because he knows all the giant bombs are here as well. Um, what I thought was interesting was, I guess, for bowlers because of the range, this core really doesn't do much. Um, he's going to get the king out front, right? The bowlers are going to stand by the king. Uh, the king's going to run in with the golem, trigger a few bombs ahead of time, and you're going to see sort of how everything works out. The bowlers are always standing behind everything. Um, I also thought this was interesting. The single target Inferno Tower. That obviously helps against Hogs. He literally waited on the timing there as well. Wait for it locked on until it locked on in the kill spot there and it sends in the Hogs on the Inferno Tower. So absolutely nice job exploiting those sort of exploitable uh, Inferno Towers on the outside. So, I mean, not the best of base designs here because I think uh, really, um, see, I mean, the bowlers eventually do end up getting mostly taken out by the uh, by the giant bomb, but the, the core is done for by that. And look at all these explosion marks. Everything was there. So all these hogs now with only an Inferno Tower to go. Another single target Inferno. Down it goes. Easy tree in the bag for Sean. Nice job, man. Just a little too exaggerated. All right. So good to get a video out again. Um, again. You know, apologize, but obviously everyone needs time off. I, uh, I had an awesome time at Disney. Obviously, it was post-hurricane, and generally the weather is fantastic post-hurricane. Um, and it was. Uh, you know, really inland didn't get hit very hard, but definitely my heart goes out to people that live on the coast because from what I saw, it absolutely uh, ravaged kind of in and, and north up along the uh, the eastern coast there but anyhow i'm gonna call it a night getting late that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help the bag that next tree start till then i'm out